Before you begin this video, please make sure that you've watched the first step one video on how to create a brochure template with paper. It's so much easier when you have a tangible brochure in your hand that you can fold and manipulate before going to the computer so you can sketch out your design and plan your panels accordingly. If you go directly to the computer without having a folded design in your hand, the panels on the computer will seem backwards to you and it'll get very, very confusing. So before you move forward, make sure you've watched the first video. If you've already wa watched the first video, then you can continue with this one. First, you're gonna go into InDesign and you're gonna hit Create New. This is gonna be a print document and it's gonna be letter size. If you don't wanna go this route, you can always type it in manually. It's going to be an orientation mode of landscape. So it's gonna be 11 inches wide. This should be say inches, eight and a half inches high orientation landscape. The number of pages is two and they are not facing. This is front and back. They're not facing like a magazine. The number of columns is three. And go into preview mode do not hit create yet this is what it should be begin looking like in the back and your margins are 0.25 inches hit tab all the way around so it should be 0.25 all the way around and you should set your bleed up to be 0 0.125 inches and that will add a red line on the outside where your color information will go. We will talk about this a little bit later. Once you once yours looks just like mine, I want you to hit create. So you have two different pages here. Page one is your front, page two is your back. If you are using your template that you folded, you should unfold that template, put it in front of you, or put it up to the screen, whatever it is, that helps you, but compare your screen to your piece of paper. And if you're looking at your piece of paper, you'll see that the inside flap is on the left, the back is in the middle, and the front is on the right side. What I like to do when I'm making templates for any of my designs is just type out what, the, what it is on the top. So this says inside flap, is this side. I'm going to copy paste. This is the back. The reason I put it up here is so it doesn't interfere with my design. And this is the front. When you are designing, your fold is going to occur in the middle of the margins. To remind yourself where the fold is, you can go into your ruler and drag, click and drag to create a line. Sorry, my mouse is blocking. All right, and then it will lock in the middle and you can release your mouse. And do that again for the second fold. So what this line is, is just to remind you, this is where the brochure will be folded. Within your margins is where you want your text to occur. So you don't want your text to go over the fold line because it will begin to get di distorted. The inside is a little bit different when we go to the page two, but as far as the um, front is concerned, you want your front design to stop at this fold line, but you want the text on your front to be in the middle of the purple margin lines. Same goes for the back. So your back and the front should be treated as separate panels, separate pages entirely. You can make the color stretch across the bottom if you want. So I've seen people do like a textured um, bottom go all the way across. So the fold goes from front to back. You can do that of course, but you wouldn't want your text to go all the way around. And the second page is your inside. The inside is not 
backwards by any means. It is it is what it is. So what you see is what you get on the inside. You read from left to right. You should have texture go from one side to the other. You should not treat these like different panels. You should not have white inside like it's, you know, a colored background and then showing the white and then a colored background and then showing the white. Do not do that. This should all be treated as one page. The only thing that you should use the margins for is to remind yourself not to have body copy text go across the fold. Just as we did on the first page, I want you to take your ruler and drag it and drop it in the middle. Whoops, sorry, my mouse keeps getting stuck. Drag it and drop it in the middle of the margins to remind yourself that, that is the fold line. Once you have a template like this, I want you to save it. Um, but also, I, I also wanted to talk to you about this, this bleed line. So what this bleed line is, is if this was going to a print, the bleed is where your color information would occur. So if you had a background color, and you wanted to make sure that when it was printed that say say scissors went up the top right here if the color doesn't go off the edge then when you do those scissors up the up the edge you might have some white space show up and you don't want that to happen so having your color information go all the way to the bleed line is what you should do to ensure that nothing gets cut off once you print of course no type goes here this is only color information